So why is supersymmetry a principle and not a theory? What's the difference between those two things? Well, that's a great question. Um, if you have a string theory, it can have supersymmetry or it can not have supersymmetry. Does that make sense? So, so oh. a supersymmetric string theory uh, is a kind of string theory and a non-supersymmetric string, string theory is another kind of string theory. So it's a property of string theories that supersymmetry exists in that system, right? There, there are about five or so uh, sup, uh, string theories that are right now uh, considered as good ways to represent the universe without too much you know, weirdness or un unexplained stuff. All five of them have the property of supersymmetry in them. Okay. Okay. So one of the things though that is perplexing modern scientists is that for supersymmetry to exist, uh, every particle that we see in the universe has a supersymmetric pair particle or a partner particle. So uh, they're called sparticles. Uh, for symmetric particles. So every electron in the universe, there is in that sort of subsurface uh, ether, uh, a cell electron, right? And for every uh, quark, there's a squark. And those things should be detectable in our experiments. You've heard of CERN and the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, and uh, out in Brookhaven, there's this thing called the RIC. Um, when you Shoot, the, the bell, the phone just rang. I'll stop there. I'll, I'll restart in a little bit. We'll come, we'll come back. Yeah, get it away from, from this area, please. Thank you. Just answer it or otherwise. Okay. Okay. Well, Getting wait, back to that point. Yeah, so yeah, we'll telling, get back to that point. You were telling me about Gamora and Scamora. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you have, well, yes. You, so you have sparticles, which uh, we can't see in our regular lives, but if you smack subatomic particles together fast enough in an accelerator, like at CERN or, or at uh, Brookhaven, then this particle should pop into existence briefly and then disappear. And so over a period of more than a decade, uh, scientists at the Large Hadron Collider and other places have tried to create those collisions that theoretically should produce the particles, but we haven't found them. Oh. So particles at the moment don't exist as far as we can tell. You now, Scamora and Cenebula uh, are still unseen. And therefore, the idea of supersymmetry, that principle, is being very carefully scrutinized. Mm -hmm. It may turn out that that principle is incorrect yes. and that we have to think about string theories or other kinds of theories without supersymmetry as a principle in itself. It's not a theory, but it's a key part of mm -hmm. other theories. That's very interesting.